Hello, everybody, and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum and discuss what's happening with it, right? Uh, before we get into any details, this is an XRP chart. Let me just change this. Before we get into any technicals, right, uh, please make sure to go over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends in the crypto market, make sure to also click on the bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto, and if you enjoy the content that I put out, Make sure to give me follows well at Mangeko with the zero at the end, right? Uh, yeah, so let's get into Ethereum, right? It's it's interesting what's happening here. The uh, the price basically dipped below this actual demand zone. Uh, but let's just check how low the price went, right? Uh, it went as low as 11.75, and then there was an amazing recovery, which is currently around 13%, right? Uh, the lower uh, currently and Ethereum price has been stuck between 14.23 and 12.80 for quite some time, and that is that still kind of holds true. Uh, but the only difference is that in my in my recent articles, I've, I've started to notice that there is some sort of a bearish uh, bear flag pattern developing here for Ethereum. And if you only consider this particular drop here, you're looking at a 15% drop, uh, which Kind of puts uh, Ethereum at thousand dollars, thousand eighty, which is the midpoint, right? Uh, but if you consider this whole whole uh, leg extending all the way from eleventh September, you're looking at roughly 30 percent drop. And if you look at thirty percent drop from here, you would basically get Ethereum price to go down to the June eighteenth low. Now, that is unlikely unless we get some kind of confirmation from Bitcoin. Uh, but until we get that get that confirmation of a bearish move. I think Ethereum price is still going to remain stuck between 14.23 and 12.82. Beyond that, you can see there's 15.71 as uh, a resistance level, and then we have 17.30, which has been a, a significant macro uh, number for Ethereum. So for now, I think even from being extremely optimistic, I could expect Ethereum price to go up to 17.30. But anything beyond that is, is highly unlikely. Or, or even if it does go above that, it is not going to stay there for a very long time unless we get uh, a sure shot. Uh, confirmation from Bitcoin. So that concludes my take on Ethereum. If you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay updated on these uh, trade setups that I'm discussing here, please make sure to uh, go ahead to my Twitter and and the links to all my socials are present here in this particular tweet. I think I've pinned it. Yeah, there you go. It's a pinned tweet. Uh, my Telegram, YouTube, and Discord are present here. So if you're interested in updating, keeping up to date with the trades I'm discussing here, make sure to join these groups. So that's it for today's analysis. If you enjoyed this uh, session, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great weekend.